from work buddies to gaming love, an unexpected kiss. We connected at work and quickly became close friends, now we spend a lot of time together. We started playing video games together, so when we're not working, we're chatting on the mic. I took her to get poke and boba after work. When she laughed and touched my hand, my heart nearly stopped. When I dropped her off at her place, she leaned over, kissed me, thanked me, and said she'd be waiting for me in the game we play, then got out of the car not going to lie, that was my first kiss, and I am a super virgin. My mind is reeling, and I don't know what to do. I kinda wanna ask if she's my girlfriend but that seems crazy. I don't wanna ask her and make her think I'm clueless, I am, and she laughs or never talks to me again. Also if the kiss was bad, and she wants to pretend it never happened, I don't want to humiliate myself. I don't even know if that was a date or not. Maybe I just move on and see what happens next. But I'd really like to try to make a move if she's into me I really don't know. Hi everyone. Thank you to everyone who responded, I really appreciated all the advice and reassurance. I was fully panicking and didn't know what to do. I got a bit overwhelmed with comments and did not respond to all of them, but trust me when I say I read and appreciated every single one. I also want to add that I know my post wasn't very popular, but I was not sure how else to update, so I'm making a new one. I'm a bit jittery right now, and I'm probably going to include too much detail, but I'm just very, very happy. So we went out on a date. The day after I made the post I dropped her off at home after work, I asked if she wanted to go to the mall with me this weekend. She laughed and said okay, then I actually kissed her this time which was awesome. I was very, very nervous the whole time. The mall was fun I chose it because it's casual and there's a lot of stuff we both like there. We got drinks and she asked for a sip of mine and drank straight from my straw which did something to me. She hugged me a lot, she let me kiss her a bunch, we held hands, I put my hand on her back, I even played with her hair. It was really, really nice. All in all we just looked at cool stuff and hung out together which was all I wanted anyway. We went to dinner at a noodle place, she fed me something she wanted me to try. I don't even remember what it tasted like because I was too busy panicking because she was feeding me. She also stole a dumpling off of my plate which was really, really cute. I didn't even care that I lost a dumpling. I went in her house for a while and she mostly just showed me her anime figures and PC setup, but it was still surreal the whole time. I told her she was pretty and smelled good and she laughed and told me I was handsome and smelled good, which made me almost turn into soup. I think we technically made out on her bed for like 15 seconds. I told her she was my first kiss and she laughed and called me cute. I almost turned to dust. When I left she told me to message her when I get home so that she knows I'm safe and again, I nearly died right then and there. That was really it. I'm home now and my heart is still practically pounding. I almost asked her if she was my girlfriend again, but I learned from the comments that that is a terrible idea, and I'm going to wait a few weeks and a few more really great dates to ask her to be my girlfriend. We've been messaging practically constantly since I got home. I'm sorry the update was boring and rambling and stupid I'm just really, really happy. If those were removed, I found a copy of my original post and update here. Hi everyone. This is probably really dumb, but I wanted to make one last update for my post. I really wanted to express gratitude and appreciation for everyone that responded and tried to help me. The internet isn't always a nice place, but you guys were nicer to me than almost anyone in my life, and I'm very, very thankful. The last few weeks have been amazing. We've been going on dates and doing nothing, which I never knew could be so fun. I'm surprised that I never run out of things to talk about with her. We've been friends for well over a year and I'd think it would have stopped by now, but it's like we never shut up or stop laughing. She has told me she was waiting for me to make a move for forever. She admitted she had been dropping hints for months and I'm painfully oblivious. That's why she finally just kissed me. Something that I never understood was feeling so protective over a person. She works at the customer service desk and I'm pretty much a box boy, so sometimes while I'm in the back building box forts she's getting yelled at and it makes me really upset. I don't like seeing people treat her poorly. With that being said she is tough. She says it's a Latin blood but I think she's just special. An unforeseen benefit of this is my self-esteem has improved tremendously. She's very, very pretty in every aspect. 
I never would have imagined someone like her would be into me. She is helping me realize that I'm not still the tall, scrawny Asian kid in a Pokemon t-shirt with glasses and acne. Now I'm a tall, somewhat muscular Asian man, in a Pokemon t-shirt, with contacts and a skin care routine. That's a joke mostly. In reality I guess I didn't realize I was likable in any way, shape or form, and being liked by someone so absolutely amazing, has been incredible. Though it might too much information, I am no longer a super virgin. With that being said, sex is nice but I'm just happy I get to spend time with her. I didn't realize how happy the little things like hand holding and kissing would make me. Just looking at her sometimes makes me melt. Finally, I asked her to be my girlfriend. She said yes. Hello Reddit. This title might look funny but it's an actual problem between me, 23F, and my husband, 24M. We've been dating for a year, been married for two years. I got pregnant like seven months ago, so recently we started discussing name for the baby. Ever since we found out it's gonna be a girl my husband wants to name it like his ex's name. It's not any ex, but the one he dated for a long period of time, and loved the most. In the beginning of our relationship we had May problems because of her, but she moved away so the problems went away. He really loved her, and he never hid that from me, but I thought it was over once she moved away. Now he made it clear that he wants the baby to have that name, and I can name the second child. When I asked him why does he want that name so badly he said, just because he and his ex didn't work out doesn't mean he doesn't want something to keep reminding him of her. He doesn't understand how much it's affecting me and keeps saying it's just the hormones. Is he still in love with the ex or it's normal that he wants to name our child like that? Thank you. In sorry for a late update but last few weeks have been hell for me. In been a right quick update here mostly to thank all those people for opening my eyes about everything. I also apologize for English mistakes because I'm from Italy and it's not my native language. I followed through most advices in the comments from calling our friends asking for help, asking his mom, talking to him and calling the ex. This post blew up in two days, and then I decided to show him comments where everyone said we should not name our child after an ex. He said him listening to random social media strangers, instead of my husband, and called me so many bad names, refuses to talk about it, and still wants to name our child like his ex. Next thing I do is call his mum and mutual friends, his mum called me immature and said it's just a name and I should only care about delivering the child healthy and not argue with him over something stupid. Our friends said they don't want to get in between us and suggested therapy as well. I was really desperate so I did something I never would, I called the ex. She didn't sound surprised at all by it and said she kinda knew he was gonna name the child after her, but she explained it fully because he couldn't look me in the eyes and say all that. Two of them had an agreement while they were still in love, to name their children after each other if they don't work out. She left him, and obviously grew out of it and said, she would never name her child after him because it's absurd, but she wasn't surprised that he still wants to do that. When I asked her why does she say that, well here comes the shock. My husband tried getting in contact with her via Facebook several times, asked her to meet up etc, and she kept refusing because he is a married man. Here you can see that she is not a bad person and bhw for anyone who asked her name is Aurora and I wouldn't mind just naming my child Aurora because it's a beautiful name, and she isn't a bad person, but I don't want to raise someone who will remind my husband of his ex. I thanked her for telling me the truth and asked her to inform me if he tries to contact her again. I confronted my husband about it and told him I knew the truth. Being an asshole as he is, he admitted and said there is nothing wrong in it, baby is mine, she will look like me and at least he gets to name it as her like he promised he would. I told him it's nonsense, and even Aurora said it's stupid, but he stick to his decision. We didn't talk much and he spent days and nights out with his single friends. Pretty soon I get a call from Aurora and she tells me he called her from his friend's phone and told her he is single now and asked to meet up and that he would fly up just to see her. After all those years with no contact with her, marriage with me, future daughter. She is still in his mind and he wants to meet her. I'm completely broken. Divorce is the only thing in my mind, but it will be so stressful with pregnancy and everything else. I guess I wanted to be blind with him. But thanks to this app, I at least want to spend my life with someone who doesn't even love me. Edit, 
Also Reddit feel free to drop names in the comments. I don't want to name my child Aurora because it would forever remind me of this incident, and I can't think about names so help me out. Relevant Comments Witty and Pithy Sorry. Sounds like you are still in the shit. He said there is nothing wrong in it, baby is mine, she will look like me, and at least he gets to name it, as her, like he promised he would. He called her from his friend's phone and told her he is single now, and asked to meet up, and that he would fly up just to see her. I'm sorry but it sounds like the person you married wishes he married someone else. It is really fucked up. But, I don't think he loves you. He may never have loved you. He may have just settled for you. But there are three wonderful things ahead of you. You can be grateful that Aurora has been honest with you. That is really helpful to you. You can be grateful you learned the truth about your ex now, and not in three or five or ten years' time. You can be grateful that now you are able to take back your life and work on creating a happy life in the future. P.S. His mum sounds just as fucked up as him. Ruval. She should name the baby Borealis just to fuck with her STBX. Narizko. Nah, Helia. Feminine form from the Greek name Helios, Greek god of the sun, i.e. that big shining ball of plasma, which is the ultimate source of the aurora borealis. My husband and I are both in our thirties, married for about ten years with kids. When my husband is very tired, he talks in his sleep, not a lot but a few words, usually it's about whatever is on his mind. When our boys were young it was usually about feeding them or giving them a bath, now it happens less than it did back then, but it still happens about once a week, usually he says something about work or fishing or his car. Last night he said another woman's name in his sleep, actually a few times. First he just said her name and kind of laughed in his sleep. Then he said, her name, let's go to bed, and then a few minutes later something about a shower. This is a woman that lives near us, he knows her, but I don't, I work afternoons, my husband gets out of work around four and so does she so they're both outside with the kids around the same time. I've never seen them be anything but friendly, I've never seen odd behavior from him. But this has me very paranoid. I don't want to be one of those people who gets mad at their partner for something that happened in their sleep, am I being ridiculous for bringing this up to him? Update thank you everyone. I brought it up to my husband in a joking manner. He immediately got defensive and began saying he couldn't fucking believe I was making an issue out of this. I was pretty taken aback by his immediate defensive reaction, I assured him I wasn't accusing him of anything, I just wanted to bring it up since it happened and make a joke out of it so he knew I wasn't actually upset. He continued to call me ridiculous, dramatic etc, and if he expected me to stop hanging out with her because of this I was out of my goddamn mind, then he left. After my husband's very defensive response after I brought it up in a really lighthearted way, I began to get a little concerned, especially how he said, if you expect me to stop hanging out with her over this you're out of your goddamn mind. Of course I never would have asked him to stop talking to her over dream, but his response really was over the top. So yesterday I took a half day and got home from work at 4, 15, the time they're usually hanging out. My kids and my husband were not at home, despite my husband telling me he had gotten them off the bus in his life 360 saying he was home, plus his car being in the garage. I called his phone and it went off in the bedroom, but no him. So I walked by the woman's house. She has a pool in her backyard and from the street I could hear the two of them, clearly, in the backyard in the pool, talking and laughing. I literally didn't even go onto her yard. I just yelled out my husband's name and said, where are the kids? He was silent for so long. He started to say something but I cut him off, I think I just told him to shut the FK up and told him just tell me where my kids were. He said they were over his mother's. I told him he had until I went to get them and get back to get his stuff out of the house. He tried to keep talking at this point he had come out to the street, but I honestly didn't want to hear anything he had to say. I told him I wasn't messing around, if he was still there when I came home I was gonna lose it. He got the point he was gone but I did let him tell me, his side of the story, on the phone later that night. He said they were, just friends, that he didn't tell me how close they were because he thought I would get upset, a lie, I don't care if he has female friends or not as long as he's respectful of boundaries, which he wasn't. I don't believe anything he said, 
He lied about where our kids were to innocently hang out with a friend. Obviously this is all new, but I have no intentions of reconciling with him, I'll be a co-parent and nothing else. It feels surreal to me how all of this started, I still can't really believe it's happening. Relevant Comments OP responding to a downvoted commenter. I don't understand what you're confused about. He lied about where my children were. He lied about where he was to hang out with her. You have to be a moron to not see he's cheating. Tilda. Different management one. I absolutely knew something was up from your first post. I'm so sorry. Do you think they've been having sex? Is he trying to save your marriage or no? Is she married? What scum? OOP. Yes, he is. Different management one. What exactly is his excuse for sending your kids to his mom's so they could have a date? I can't even imagine. OOP. One of our sons had just been sick two days before, so he said he didn't think he would be up for swimming. Tilda. Foggadays and nights. Did you ask his mother for what she was told? Why she was asked to watch the kids? Does she know what her son has been doing? And so happy you are taking care of this now. OOP. She told him he had to do work on the house and didn't want them around while he did it. We met at work and became friends fast. Now we spend a ton of time together. We started playing video games together, so if we're not working together, we're on the mic together. I took her to get poke and boba after work. She touched my hand when she laughed, and I almost died. When I dropped her off at her place, she just leaned over and kissed me, thanked me, said she would be waiting for me on the game we play, then got out of the car. Not going to lie, that was my first kiss, and I am a super virgin. My mind is reeling, and I don't know what to do. I kinda wanna ask if she's my girlfriend, but that seems crazy. I don't wanna ask her and make her think I'm clueless. I am, and she laughs or never talks to me again. Also, if the kiss was bad, and she wants to pretend it never happened, I don't want to humiliate myself. I don't even know if that was a date or not. Maybe I just move on and see what happens next. But I'd really like to try to make a move if she's into me, I really don't know hi everyone. Thank you to everyone who responded, I really appreciated all the advice and reassurance. I was fully panicking and didn't know what to do. I got a bit overwhelmed with comments and did not respond to all of them, but trust me when I say I read and appreciated every single one. I also want to add that I know my post wasn't very popular, but I was not sure how else to update, so I'm making a new one. I'm a bit jittery right now, and I'm probably going to include too much detail, but I'm just very, very happy. So we went out on a date. The day after I made the post I dropped her off at home after work, I asked if she wanted to go to the mall with me this weekend. She laughed and said okay, then I actually kissed her this time which was awesome. I was very, very nervous the whole time. The mall was fun I chose it because it's casual and there's a lot of stuff we both like there. We got drinks and she asked for a sip of mine and drank straight from my straw which did something to me. She hugged me a lot, she let me kiss her a bunch, we held hands, I put my hand on her back, I even played with her hair. It was really, really nice. All in all we just looked at cool stuff and hung out together which was all I wanted anyway. We went to dinner at a noodle place, she fed me something she wanted me to try. I don't even remember what it tasted like because I was too busy panicking because she was feeding me. She also stole a dumpling off of my plate which was really, really cute. I didn't even care that I lost a dumpling. I went in her house for a while and she mostly just showed me her anime figures and PC setup, but it was still surreal the whole time. I told her she was pretty and smelled good and she laughed and told me I was handsome and smelled good, which made me almost turn into soup. I think we technically made out on her bed for like 15 seconds. I told her she was my first kiss and she laughed and called me cute. I almost turned to dust. When I left she told me to message her when I get home so that she knows I'm safe and again. I nearly died right then and there. That was really it. 
I'm home now and my heart is still practically pounding. I almost asked her if she was my girlfriend again, but I learned from the comments that that is a terrible idea. And I'm going to wait a few weeks and a few more really great dates to ask her to be my girlfriend. We've been messaging practically constantly since I got home. I'm sorry the update was boring and rambling and stupid. I'm just really, really happy. If those were removed, I found a copy of my original post and update here. Hi everyone. This is probably really dumb, but I wanted to make one last update for my post. I really wanted to express gratitude and appreciation for everyone that responded and tried to help me. The internet isn't always a nice place, but you guys were nicer to me than almost anyone in my life, and I'm very, very thankful. The last few weeks have been amazing. We've been going on dates and doing nothing, which I never knew could be so fun. I'm surprised that I never run out of things to talk about with her. We've been friends for well over a year and I'd think it would have stopped by now, but it's like we never shut up or stop laughing. She has told me she was waiting for me to make a move for forever. She admitted she had been dropping hints for months and I'm painfully oblivious. That's why she finally just kissed me. Something that I never understood was feeling so protective over a person. She works at the customer service desk and I'm pretty much a box boy, so sometimes while I'm in the back building box forts she's getting yelled at and it makes me really upset. I don't like seeing people treat her poorly. With that being said she is tough. She says it's a Latin blood but I think she's just special. An unforeseen benefit of this is my self-esteem has improved tremendously. She's very, very pretty in every aspect. I never would have imagined someone like her would be into me. She is helping me realize that I'm not still the tall, scrawny Asian kid in a Pokemon t-shirt with glasses and acne. Now I'm a tall, somewhat muscular Asian man in a Pokemon t-shirt with contacts and a skin care routine. That's a joke mostly. In reality I guess I didn't realize I was likable in any way, shape or form, and being liked by someone so absolutely amazing has been incredible. Though it might too much information, I am no longer a super virgin. With that being said, sex is nice but I'm just happy I get to spend time with her. I didn't realize how happy the little things like hand holding and kissing would make me. Just looking at her sometimes makes me melt. Finally, I asked her to be my girlfriend. She said yes, 